Another topic in MATLAB which could be very useful is symbolic analysis. So um, I'm gonna do a very basic tutorial on these. I'm gonna clear, close all, and CLC, and start with the term sims to create symbols. And let's just create one symbol X and say Y is equal to sine of X. If I do this, it's gonna take a little time because symbols are a little bit time consuming, but you can see that both X and Y are now symbols. What I can do is I can type capital letter Y is equal to int for the integral and put Y there and integrate it over X. So if I run this one, now Y becomes minus cos X, which is what we expect. The um, in integral of sine X is equal to minus cos X. We can also give some values to this. Let's say from zero to pi and run it and now it's going to actually evaluate that and give a value for y i, I, I thought it was going to and yes it did um, so it gave me two values for or a value of two for y another thing i can do is say x is equal to pi over two and now y e is equal to eval or evaluate y so if i run this you see that y e which is y value i defined it in here now has a number eval basically what it does is that it takes a string like symbol or something like this y is kind of one of those characters and if it as long as it's a function that matlab recognizes it it will evaluate that function and gives a value for it. So um, if I change this to four or pi over four and evaluate that, I'm expecting to see 0.707 or something, basically the sine of pi over four, and that is what I saw. And these are basic functionalities of symbolic analysis in MATLAB. It could go way beyond this. Um, you could do more complicated analysis with uh, symbolic parameters, but keep in mind that sim symbolic analysis can make your scripts run um, slower. So there is a con and there's a pro in uh, using symbols and a typical MATLAB analysis.